Hello and welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. This question is about the validate connections in which we have to determine its design and allowable tensile strength. The question is shown above which states that L5 cross 5 cross 5 by 8 is welded to a gusset plate as shown in figure. The steel used is A36. Compute the following the design strength for LRFT and the allowable strength for ASD. First, to solve the question, we need to have some properties of this angle section from AISC steel construction manual. Properties of this angle section are gross area is equal to 5.9 in square, distance from centroid of connected area to the plane of the connection is equal to 1.47 inch, length of connection is given in the question as 5 inch. Shear lag factor is given as 1 minus x bar divided by L which is equal to 1 minus 1.47 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.706. Effective area is given as shear lag factor into gross area which is equal to 0 0.706 into 5.9 which is equal to 4.17 inch square. The properties of A36 steel are yield strength is equal to 36 KSI. Ultimate strength is equal to 58 KSI. Nominal strength in yielding for this angle section is given as yield strength into gross sectional area which is equal to 36 into 5.9 which is equal to 212.4 kips. Nominal strength in rupture is given as ultimate strength into effective area which is equal to 58 into 4.17 which is equal to 241.86 kips. For LRFT, the design strength based on yielding is given as resistance factor in yielding into nominal strength in yielding, which is equal to 0 0.9 into 212.4, which is equal to 191.2 kips. Design strength based on rupture is given as a resistance factor in rupture into nominal strength in rupture, which is equal to 0 0.75 into 241.86, which is equal to 181.4 kips. We can see that the strength in rupture is smaller of the above two values. It controls the design. Therefore, the design strength of a section for LRFT is 181.4 kips. For ASD, the allowable strength based on yielding is given as nominal strength in yielding divided by safety factor in yielding, which is equal to 212.4 divided by 1.67, which is equal to 127.2 kips. Allowable strength based on rupture is given as a nominal strength in rupture divided by safety factor in rupture, which is equal to 41.86 divided by 2, which is equal to 120.9 kips. Again, we can see that the strength in rupture is smaller of the above two values. It controls the design. Therefore, the allowable strength of section for ASD is 120.9 kips. This represents a procedure. How can we calculate the design and allowable tensile strength in case of welded connections? Hope you guys learn something from this video. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.